Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie Miller with IOIBdesigns.com. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my favorite Christmas tradition that I do with my boys every single year. This tradition started back in 2011 when my youngest was born. We would get together with their cousins who are their same ages, and we would create a handmade ornament for that year. Now, when they were really little, it just involved usually their handprint, and then us moms would do the rest of the embellishing of the ornament. But they always had some sort of involvement, even if it was just us painting their hands and slapping it on the ornament. But they, every year, they have turned out so cute. And when I unwrap the Christmas ornaments every single year to put them on the tree, I just, I just love them. It just brings back such great memories and it's just amazing to see their little teeny tiny hands and how much they've grown. They're nine and 11 now, so it's just, it's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, we don't get to do it with our cousins anymore because we live in different states, but we still collaborate and come up with the idea of what the ornament is gonna be for that year, and we still create the same ornament even though we are miles apart. So I wanted to take you around my tree and show you each of the different designs that we've done on the ornaments, and maybe this will provide you with some inspiration and a new tradition that you do with your kids. Because I think this is just, these are so great. And we give them as gifts to grandparents and aunts and uncles. And my plan is when my kids grow up and they have a family of their own, is to gift them with all of these ornaments that were handmade by them, and they'll have the first ornaments for their tree. That is, if I can part with them. I'm very attached to them, so we'll see. But since I told them they can't get married till they're at least 35, I should have some time to get, <laughs> to get ready to give them to them. So let me take you around the tree and show you how we do each ornament, and hopefully it will provide you with some inspiration to do this with your own kids. And stick around to the end of this video because I will share with you the new design that we have planned for 2020, which I think we will all agree is very appropriate for this crazy year that we've had. So grandparents and aunts and uncles, if you're watching at the end of this video, don't watch if you don't wanna know what this year's ornament is gonna be, if you don't want to ruin the surprise. So let's get started. So the first year we made these little snowman handprints. Now you've probably seen this around. All you do is paint their hand with white paint, just acrylic paint, and then you carefully place the ball ornament in the palm of their hand and wrap their fingers around. Now, depending on how old they are, depends on how challenging this task is. And we did this on an already glittered shatterproof ornament. I believe I had gotten these at Walmart, but like I said, this was years ago, so don't know if you could find these exact ones. But then after the paint dried, then we just decorated, of course the moms had to do this because the kids were so little, decorated the snowmen. If they are older kids, then you can leave the decorating up to them. We used, I believe we just used Sharpies on that, um, or you could use a paint pen. And then on the back, we always write their name and the year so that we can remember when these ornaments were made. The next year we changed it up a bit and we used a cookie cutter and put the kids' picture inside the cookie cutter. Now, we wanted to have the kids have a little more involvement than just their picture in it. So for the back, we gave them a piece of paper and some paints and just let them have at it and paint. So it was just a hodgepodge, hodgepodge, how do you say that, of different color, Christmas colors, and they just basically made a decorated sheet of paper. And then that's what we used for the backing. We traced it, the shape of the cookie cutter, put the picture on top, and then glued it into the cookie cutter, and then just wrote their names on the bottom. But that is what they were capable of at the time, and we wanted them to have some part in the creative process of creating the ornaments. And because these are actually some of my favorite, I'm showing you my older son too. You can use any shape cookie cutter. So this was a snowman, and there was his artwork. His favorite color was pink at the time. He'll kill me for telling you that, but that's why he has pink there. I guess we must have just let them pick whatever colors they wanted, not necessarily Christmas colors, but it works with any shape cookie cutter. So cute. Now, don't ask me why this particular year we chose to use glass ornament balls. I highly suggest that you use shatterproof ornaments. 
You can get these now at any craft store, the shatterproof ones, and they look just like glass when they are hanging on your tree and when they are decorated. That way you don't have to worry about them ever breaking. This is one of my favorites, although I'll probably say that about every single one. Um, but this is one of my favorites and I worry that some year it possibly will get broken if it got knocked off the tree and there's no replacing this one. So this was the Santa hand. This one was a bit challenging. We painted the palm of their hand and their thumb is red for the hat. Then the center part of their hand is some whatever color you want Santa's face to be. We use like a tan color. And then all of the fingers make up the beard. So then you paint those white. So you have those three layers and we did that at one time, then put their hand on the ornament to get all of the parts of the hand down. And then after those parts dried, then we went back through and I believe we took their fingers. Yes, these are their little fingerprints that we took to make the, um, the fur part of the hat. And then again on the back wrote their name, Owen 2013, so that we will remember whose hand it is and what year we did this. So that is one of my favorites, but I will say that that one is a little challenging to do because of all the different colors of paint, but look how cute it turns out. It's worth it. Next up, we did their fingerprints and just three fingerprints to make little reindeer. And then this year, this was my oldest son and he actually decorated the little antlers on there. So we got paint pens and as soon as the kids were old enough and capable, we would let them do the decorating. So you do the fingerprints, let those dry, and then you go back and do the embellishing. And this was a, a ornament that was pre-glittered and bought just like that. The glitter's on the inside and we were able to do the decoration on the outside. So this year we did a manger with baby Jesus and we used a shatterproof ornament and then that is just um, the paper crinkles that you can get at the Dollar Tree. We stuck those inside and then the kids made this little manger. Now what I would recommend with something like this is for them to practice on paper first and know how they're gonna be doing the design because they were still pretty young. I believe they were five and six when we were doing these. So they just used their fingerprints to make the little manger. And then uh, the yellow hay, again, was just kind of their fingerprints and they smeared that on there. And then baby Jesus was two thumbprints or fingerprints and then another one for the head. And then on the back, of course, and by this time they were writing their own name and the year. Next up is an elf. And on this one, we used a disc ornament which is not completely round, so you have a flatter surface to do the artwork on. And we put glitter on the inside, and I'm hoping to have an upcoming video showing you how to glitter the inside of ornaments. And then they um, did the thumbprint for the body of the elf, a fingerprint for the head, and then they drew in with a paint pen the hat, and of course embellished it. For this year's ornament, I had seen these really cute little snow globe ornaments at the Dollar Tree and they still carry these every year I see them. And we took a picture of the kids, my kids, um, we took a picture of them playing in the snow and then they cut out around the shape of their body in the picture. So this is my youngest son and he was sledding in this picture. And then we put some of the little styrofoam balls that they also sell at the Dollar Tree and one of the little miniature bottle brush trees that the Dollar Tree also carries. And we glued that to, glued the tree and the picture to the bottom of the ornament and then filled it with the, the little styrofoam balls to be the snow. And then wrote their name on the back. That is one of my favorite ones. But I told you I was gonna say that about all of them because I just love them. This was a very special year. We made an angel. This was the year that my mom passed away. And so we had to do an angel that year. So this is similar to the elf where you do a thumbprint for the body and a fingerprint for the head. And then they drew in angel wings and, and the halo. And then they wanted um, a little uh, like music book that the angel is holding. And last year's ornament was Christmas lights. So they first drew a black line, again with paint markers, paint pens, 
and drew the black line all the way around the ornament and then just started doing fingerprints or thumbprints, whatever they wanted, with different colors to be the Christmas lights. And then oh, the little, I had them draw like those little lines there to be the, um, you know, like the plug-in part of the light. So I suggest you draw those before just doing the random fingerprints all over. So they did that and then their fingerprints and then their name. And this is another one of the shatterproof ornaments that has the glitter on the inside. And now for the new 2020 design, I am just panning my tree here. So grandparents, aunts and uncles, if you do not wanna see this year's design before you receive your ornament, then stop watching now because I'm going to show this year's ornament. This year for 2020, we have stink, stank, stunk because that is what this year was. So we have the Grinch and then Matt, I believe it's Max, the dog, right? Max and the Grinch. So all we did is a thumbprint sideways for the Grinch's face and then another fingerprint um, going up and down vertical and that makes his face. Then you draw on the hat and then the dog is a thumbprint sideways and then a, another fingerprint for the head um, over to the side and then drawing the ears the tail and the legs so i hope this video maybe provides you some inspiration on something that you can do with your kids maybe start a new tradition or if this is something that you already do and you're looking for a new idea maybe one of these ideas you haven't done before and maybe you will try it this year if you liked these ideas, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me and helps other people find my videos here in the YouTube world. And let me know in the comments below, which of these handmade ornaments is your favorite? And do you think you might try any of these with your own kids? And if you'd like to see more craft content like this, consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Merry Christmas.